Hey up everyone, it's the Oxpander, welcome back to FTB1 where, I'll be honest, I ain't really done much since last time still got us bamboo, still got us garden, just half empty now because we don't need all the demon seed we have got cactus on the go Which is going to come in handy soon, because I'm going to need some more cactus. Uh, all that's empty. That is not empty. Wow, going to get all these into here. And of course, we've got our two grinders here. A lot of copper dust to smelt. We've built our mining rake here, but I haven't set it up yet because I do want to do some experimenting with it. So we've got the starting of our uh, storage system through occultism. But we're missing a lot of ender pearls. Now it is night time, I could go hunting for ender pearls, that's not much of an issue. But do you know what? It's too much effort. I don't want to have to be running around chasing down monsters to try and get the resources that I need. I want to be able to produce them en masse by myself. Well, there's a way of doing that. And today we're going to do that with chickens. Because this just looks, just looks so much fun and it gives me flashbacks to Stoneblock, which is still one of my favourite packs of all time. Can't wait for Stonebox 3, it is coming. But we have got to get some chicken. So, <clears throat> what I have done is I've got myself a chicken. I'm going to do the basic. Uh, I can remember where I is in the list. Chicken setup. Myself a barrel. Uh, oh. Get some building materials. Right. And I want to turn this bit into the chicken farm. Actually, no. <coughs> you know what? I will. I'll actually leave it up here. I have to get rid of some of these rubber trees, but I want to do it up here. I might do it here. So we are going to need to make sure that we claim those two chunks. Ah, claim that one for good measure. Ah, that'll do. I can always expand this out. But, let's get this built. So, uh, barrel, hopper in the back. Let's get the soul gemmed chicken into the air. And there we go. Over time, it'll lay eggs. They'll all get collected into the hopper, go into the barrel. We've got a basic egg farm. Sounds good to start with. But, I want a lot of chickens. And I want to use things like the breed and the roost. Which lets you not only get chicken drops, but improve the stats of your chickens and to do with that we need a chicken like this and to get that all we need is a chicken catcher feather an egg and a stick so let's go get ourselves a feather got ourselves an egg and a curious stick 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 uh, are there are really no sticks in there. Chicken catcher. Right. <coughs> now we need chickens. Now, I have to admit, I spent a bit of time looking for chickens because there aren't many. 
There are some chickens that should spawn on the map. But, by all accounts... Ooh, bad guy. Chicken spawns are a little bit broken at the minute. <laughs> so it's not spawning a lot of the chickens, it should be spawning. Damn it. Bloody witches. Oh, get away you. Right, let's try and not get killed on my way down to chickens. You can start seeing on the minimap now. <sighs> Come on, poison, wear off. Left on this. Oh, it's just finished. <sighs> All you need to do is go up to a chicken with a chicken stick. And you... Oh, you're not going to let us pick up the normal chickens, are you? Damn it. Uh, see, this is where the chickens mod is broken a little bit at the minute because there are some chickens that aren't like this that are special chickens. Oh. Give me the chicken. Like this guy. Or slime chickens or clay chickens. And you should be able to pick these up with the chicken stick. And some of them would spawn in the overworld. The problem we have is a lot of them, in fact, none of them are spawning in the overworld. Hey, go away, you. So that is probably something that's going to get fixed eventually. For now, though, we have got a way of getting around that with certain chickens so let's get back to here and let's put you in there with the other one get our egg do you know what I need to put a torch near you don't I, so you don't despawn all the time Oh, you should stay there, shouldn't you? We'll see. Right, let's get... an egg. Two feathers. Uh, let's say, for example, oak logs. We can make a log chicken. Now, you can only do this with so many. You can do it with the log. You can do it with... Um, nether quartz I do believe I'm going to make a liar out of me now and not come up with half the ones that I can do it with oh, come on oh, do you know, do you know, some of these were coming up and I can't see which ones now but yeah, nether quartz log will one I think sand is one But we've got a log chicken. So let's put you down. There's our log chicken. And now with our chicken stick, you can right click. And we have the log chicken here with 111 as its growth gain and strength. Now to get this, we need a roost. And what a roost will do is allow us to get the drops out of the chicken. So let's go grab some hay bales from in here. And you, and you. That is a roost. That is our chicken. If I go over here and pop you down and put you inside, it's our little chicken here and over time this will provide us with chicken drops now 
the roost doesn't tell us what it will drop which is annoying but when this fills up you will get a log so already I'm making logs without cutting trees down so I've got an infinite tree farm straight away now the problem I've got oh you see here logs and it would instead of laying eggs it would lay logs now the problem I've got is that's only one log at a time which is a bit terrible however I can put two of these into a breeder and they will slowly improve each other's stats with the aim of making a 10 10 10 chicken which will have the most amount of drops the fastest drop speed not only that if i breed a log chicken with a black chicken i can produce string chickens and you make an ink black chicken by wrapping an egg in black dye and then that will give us infinite black dye as well so you can make chickens for every color now what i need is more eggs but there is one more chicken i have forgotten about which is going to help the eggs situation so if i was to get i should just give me all the wheat a few more of these and let's make a breeder which is the same but i need some wheat seeds in the middle there we go i also need books uh, leather oh i have no leather plenty of paper no leather right yep needs to be leather well, looks like we're going to go and kill a few cows. Or can I cook? Uh, get it from Wilden Wings. I do have a couple of Wilden Wings. I only need two books, so let's just grab that for now. Right. Now, let's put the chicken down. And give it a book and that makes it into a smart chicken and then I can put the smart chicken into a roost and that should give me normal eggs Do that with another one. Here's the book. Give me the chicken. Smart chicken in there. And then when this one fills up, we will get ourselves some normal eggs. Now, what I can do, I'll just take both of these out for a minute. And I make a breeder and put the two chickens in here. What I need to do is find oh the catalyst for these. There we go. Chicken line, chicken breeder. Ah, I can't breed these. So these have got to go as is. Oh, that's fine. Let's just uh, chuck them both back in here then. Let's use one of these eggs and make ourselves a new log chicken. So, what is it? Uh, feathers, an egg, and some logs. There's our new log chicken. Pick him up. Pick up the other chicken from in here, put these two into the breeder. And now, what I need to do 
is give them a catalyst so they can start breeding. Which, if I remember rightly, because it's what you need to breed chickens anyway, it's just wheat seeds. Still might have to do the smart chickens. Might still do this with the smart chickens as well, because I'm going to need more eggs. But we put wheat seeds in, uh, there. We have this lovely dovey symbol coming up. And then this fills up. And then this one. Oh, it didn't give me anything this time. It's not guaranteed. But what should happen is I should start getting another chicken that is a combination of these stats with something slightly better. That's what we're wanting. We're wanting to improve the growth and strength of these chickens in order to make them lay faster. It also means we'll be able to get stronger other chickens. So leather's an issue I'm having at the minute. I need string, I need brown. Well, that should be nice and easy because we can have a string chicken. Oh, oh no, I am making them, but they're going into here. Now, let's get these two out. Look at this. I made a chicken with 322 and a chicken with 223. Perfect. What I do with these two is throw them two into here. And we get ourselves an even better chicken. Just me, I need to make a place where I can just bin excess chickens. And your sap producing eggs are wonderful. Might not need to increase these because we're just doing these two for now. But yeah, we can do that until we've got a substantially better chicken. Preferably, like, say, a 10 10 10. And we'll be able to lay things, um, well, in this case, lay logs a lot quicker. <sighs> and after some time. <laughs> just breeding. I mean, that's how many chickens we've gone through. Trying to get the 10 10 10 out. 10 9 10. That's as close as I've got. So hopefully, this last breed should give me a 10 10 10 chicken. At least I hope so, because this has been a good 20 odd minutes. Oh, it doesn't give me anything. But... Dag nabbit. Oh, that's what. He gave me another 10 9 10. Well, in that case, two 10 9 10s. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out. So we've got a comparative. So let's take you out. Put you in here for a minute. Let's see what this one gives us. Um, oh, 10, 10, 10. Excellent. Right, let's take you out, put you in here. And let's do a comparison, shall we? So, a 1, 1, 1 chicken. That's how fast it goes up. Roughly 1% a second. 10, 10, 10. Going up about the same, what do you say? Yeah, about the same. Unless this is fin just finishing off the smart chicken, which I hope. <coughs> but when this one matches out, in fact, while we wait for that, let's just get these in place. Two. Three. Well, that gave me one log. That gives me three. So straight away, better production there. Now, I do want to get myself another 10-10-10. Eh, actually no, one of those will be fine. So let's throw that in there. Let's go get back to our crafting table. Really need to eat some food. And I need eight ink sacks. 
I also need. That. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black ink. Wrap that around a chicken egg to get a black ink chicken. Ah, oh, which works like a normal chicken egg. Dang it. Right, in that case. Because I want this throat to have a chance to spawn the chicken. That is annoying. However, uh, uh, takes by chickens. We don't have a hatchery, do we? Just got the Brewster breeder, these hen houses. Oh, come on, give me the chicken. Dang it. More black ink, which means there are more ink sacks. I need ink sacks to make books. Right. I can make one more. Give me the chicken. Dang it. But yeah. We need that black chicken. So that we can make the string chicken. Do you know what I could make? Uh, but I need more flint. I can't make one of these. Nether quartz. We need the feathers. We need the eggs. That makes us a nether quartz chicken. Which, if we merge that with the yellow chickens, we still need to get more yellow dye. That's to get glowstone. Redstone chicken to get glass. Flint and coal. Flinton log makes a coal chicken. Coal is something we do need quite a bit of. Uh, where's the rest of the nether quartz stuff? Oh, and a lava chicken. Coal and nether quartz. So we need that coal chicken. So we need a flint chicken. So. We get that. Gravel. That's going. There we go. That is the flint chicken. There we go. Now I wonder. If we were to get something like the redstone chicken, can we just make a redstone chicken this way? Uh, oh, art redstone. No. That's the thing. We can make sand chicken with that. And. That's the ink black chicken. Lava chicken is another one we're going to need. Let's just grab these for now. These are two more. Oh, 
uh, the sand, up the uh, the flint chicken. However, we can breed with the log chicken to get coal. So let's get our ten ten. Well, that's difference. Uh, ten ten, that one. In there, I could probably get rid of so many of these. Which is why I brought that. And hopefully, this will produce the uh, coal chicken that we need. And it should. Will it spawn as a 1 1 1 or will it spawn as something better because I've got a 10 10 10 chicken? That's the big question. Oh. I'll tell her what I want to do. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to throw myself off the edge. That's just the, not the thing I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was get rid of that. And it'll leave the bread chicken in there. But what that gave me was another 10 10 10 chicken. So I will keep that. We can get rid of them too. This is where I wish I had a time in a bottle or something like that. Because I would speed this up somewhat chronic. But we'll see what we get. Ah, the 10 10 10 coal chicken. Oh, yes. In you go, sir. In you go. Get rid of that little useless neck. Ten, ten, ten coal chicken. Perfect. It does mean I have to get the. Uh, no, it's that one. Where's the flint chicken? There he is. Flint and log makes coal. Flint and sand makes gunpowder. Flint and bone white makes iron. Oh, that's going to be handy as well. And that just straight up drops iron nuggets. Then we can use it to make the gold chicken, blaze rods, diamonds. And we get glass, which is redstone and nether quartz. We can make the nether quartz chicken. The redstone chicken, however, is sand and red. So... These chickens now are already giving me a nice profit on, you know, nice resources in very little work, especially these two, the 10 10 10 beauties. And what I can do is if I were to set the chicken farm up, I might set it up here with all the roosts. Oh! Set it up under here in the basement. Uh, we don't have drawers in this pack, do we? And we don't have storage bins. Oh. I wonder though. If I put one of these, ooh, experiment, experiment time. If I take you and you, and we've got all this trim here, haven't we? If I put you on you and put you in you, right? How many eggs do we have? in here. Ten duck eggs. So once you're finished let's see if these this shows up on the storage system. And that is one egg. One egg. So we can use Tom's simple storage to actually 
match to actually take in all the results of these. And I've got at least four, once the full, four stacks of each. So that is four stacks of flint, sand, logs, coal, and nether quartz that I can have just sat there being automatically generated. And if I wanted to increase those stacks, I just put each one of these. We've got pipes, haven't we? We've got the pipes mod. So I can have individual chests linked to these trims for each one of these to put into. Instead of having four stacks, I could have 27 stacks that I can just passively sit here Turn, you know, turn the monitor off, play something else, and have all that resource piled up on me. Oh, this is beautiful. Right. We're going to leave it there for now. I'm going to make a bunch more roosts. I want to do a little bit of breeding. So I want to make another flint, another sand, another nether quartz uh, to get them up to 10, 10, 10s. And then do a bit more breeding to try and get up to some high level stuff. Um... because I mean emerald chicken would be nice I also need to get some for the dyes now some of them like the lime chicken you can get a green chicken and a white chicken and breed them into a lime green's easy we've got cactus white's easy we've got bone meal and we have got this mob spawner that works on and off it's a bit finicky but it does get some production just not a lot so I might need to rejig that and go back to what we did on the die wolf pack and get a drigme set up uh, we do have shrink on here yeah so we could do the drigme farm again but if we were to get to so let's say bone there is bone white chickens and they drop when dead bone and lay bone and lay white die so I could effectively get more bone meal from that alternatively we have got productive bees as well which is another mod I want to take a look at a bit more in depth but for now that'll do so if you like the episode hit the like button if you like to hit subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell let you know when your episodes come around don't forget jump into the discord in the description where you can follow the pack follow uh you know get notified when new episodes come up chat direct talk about various different things because we're a few pages open in the discord um and all around, just be nice and friendly and say hi to people. You can always check out twitch.tv for slash yorkshapanda. You can check out my live streams. Don't forget to come give me a follow over there as well. All that being said, you guys take it steady. Everything's a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.